on this time, you know, he's on his knees, start the knees. Same thing, and then he just gets to his feet. Okay, so then you just take it. Okay, so you've, you've got to have game from both positions, okay? This is um, from spider guard. We're going to transition to spider X guard, okay? And then go for a single leg sweep, okay? And then we'll finish with an E bar. So, again, la the, the last sweep involved us getting your partner's weight, okay, by, by pushing forward to get the weight on top of you. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, only we're just going to do slightly different. I'm just going to take a spider hook off. Okay, so you have different ways of doing this. I can, I can push up and pull his weight this way to try and get his, his hips under my hips. Or I can take one of my hooks off and pull it on the mat. Even if he keeps his grips, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then I can use a combo of both. Okay, I can put my foot on the mat and drive with my spider hook. Okay, to get his foot under my arm. Yeah. Or I can put this foot on the mat and pull with my spider hook and use my knee in the back of his knee okay, to get his leg under my armpit. Okay. So from here, guys, I'm going to let go of the sleeve and overhook his leg and grab my collar and put my foot on the hip. Okay. This position now is called Spider X Guard, and there's a ton of things I can do from this position. Okay. So we're going to go for the sweep. So from here, guys, look, I can use this spider hook pull car and move him around so I can get his other leg quite close to me. Okay, so now I can underhook it. So from here I release my grip, I underhook it, I, I take my foot off his bicep and I put it in his other hip. Okay, and I bring my knees together. Okay, take him down. Again, options to foot lock here, we're just going to go for the knee bar, I mean you can pass the guard and stuff. So from here, um, my foot which was on the far hip, I'm going to turn on my right side, I'm going to hook my foot, okay, L shape it, just to the inside, okay, of his left leg, and I'm going to turn around on my left side, I'm going to glue his foot, okay, onto my shoulder, and then from here, I'm going to sit back with the knee bar. Don't worry too much about the knee bar finish, it's just a whip, giving you a little bit more gain from when you finish, but you can pass, you can find a Achilles lock. Toe lock as well. Okay, so again, from this position, I can either pull him forward with my hooks, we'll just plant our foot on the mat, so it'll be different from the last technique. Okay, keep your grips covered. And use this as a lever, so I'm pulling with this, I can push with my foot on the mat, I use my knee in the back of his leg. All I want to do is to get him to step forward so I can hook onto his leg. Here. Now I overhook it, grab my collar, and this foot comes up in the hip. Okay. I'm a spider axe guard. Now I can use this, this spider hook, to move him around, to get this foot, this other foot close. So now I can underhook it, and immediately I put my foot in the other hip. Okay, to take him down, I bring my knees and pinch them to the side of the leg that I'm taking down. So if I'm taking Carl's left leg, I'm going to move my knees in that direction. To take him down. Okay, straight for the, for the knee bar. Okay, I take my foot off his hip. I'm going to hook my foot into the inside of his leg. I'm going to turn on my left side. I like to get the, the heel on my shoulder. Okay? And I need to make sure that Carl's knee is above my groin. Right, and then I'm going to straighten the knee bar. Again. So a key tip, guys, when you're um, transitioning from, from spider guard, the spider X guard is just pulling forward movement using the combination of the spider hook and the one on the mat and the knee. Even, even if he's got his grips, it doesn't matter, I can use my knee to pull it forward. And then I've got the overhook, put my foot on the hip. Okay. Common mistake is um, people take this out. Okay. Once I take my um, spider hook out, I don't have the same control of them. So from here, if I do this. Okay, Carl's just going to push it to the mat. So I never take this foot off his bicep until I'm about to sweep him. So I'm going to use this, okay, to get this leg close to me so I can underhook it. I only put it now on, the, on his hip when I go for the sweep. So I bring my knees together, pinch my knees, and take him down. Okay, so from here, my foot that was on the far hip is going to L shape. I'm just going to put it to the inside of his leg. 
turning on my left side. So I end up on my left side. I can put his ankle or keep his foot L shaped on my shoulder. Hug it. Okay, squeeze my knees, pinch my knees. Just lean back. For the knee bar. So just we'll stick the pass in as well. So, how do I pass from this position here? Okay, just, it's just like technical stand-up guys. This foot that was on his hip comes across, okay? I, I had this foot under hook, I wanna keep a hold of it. I let go of this, I just do technical stand-up, okay? So I miss with my hand on the mat, bring my leg back, I come up to jockey position, okay? And then I can pass, I can look to cut across. So just do it as a drill guys, just um, we'll finish it just with the knee bar, so that's um, spider guard, spider x guard, this 